makes it really easy, doesn't it? Where do we start? Okay, well, calm down, because you shouldn't be this excited about homicide. Okay, let's start with the victim, and we'll work our way around the room. Okay, so, cause of death is most likely this bullet hole to the head. Well, obviously, like, how else should be, could she be dead? Uh, poisoning, head trauma, internal bleeding, you don't really know, dude. That's what autopsies are for. So we'll have to get back to forensics later when they, uh, at home we can, so we can see what they found. Oh, um, alright then. So she was tied up at one point, right? There is crumpled up duct tape on the ground. It looks like he was wrapped around something and the victim has bruising around the wrists. Is that good, boss? Yeah, good observation. There's also a roll of duct tape over there, too. It looks like the edge of it's jagged, which means somebody probably pulled a piece off with their hands. There's also duct tape on the victim's mouth, so that's probably because they were being too loud. What a shame. Okay, moving on. So, there's blood splatter here on this wall. I'm assuming, based on the trajectory, it's most likely, yes, from the gunshot. And there's the shell casing on the ground. We'll have to get ballistics to analyze this later. So, most likely this, most likely that. When are we going to be certain of everything? Well, we have to wait two or three weeks for the evidence to get analyzed, and then we can just collect it all at once and help find our suspect. God, that's going to take forever. Nah, it'll be over before you know it. In the meantime, we'll just finish analyzing the crime scene, and we'll interview the surviving victim. What? Wait, what? Is a surviving victim? Why can't we just use them to ID the killer? It's not that simple. Eyewitness testimony can't stand alone in court. We need more concrete evidence. Plus, the victim just lost her sister, and she was kidnapped, and she was tortured, so she's going to be a little sensitive. Fine. Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. I guess... Wait, what's this? Looks like a rag used to choke or muffle the victim. We should get this tested to see if there's chloroform on it. This may have been the means of kidnapping. Okay, well is there anything else that we should look at before we leave? Well, there's a few circumstantial things. I noticed that the two chairs, one for the dead victim, one for the surviving victim, were spread out, so they must have been separated while they were down here. Also, there's some random stuff on the ground, so it looks like there might have been a struggle. And we'll have to see if the victim that's surviving can corroborate any of these assumptions. Yes! I can't wait! Uh, um, uh, I mean, okay. Uh, come on, Rookie. Follow my lead. Stop! You're probably wondering why you're here, aren't you? No, I know I'm a key witness and a key piece of evidence in the case to find out who killed my sister. Do you remember anything about when you were kidnapped? It was definitely a guy. Even though he killed my sister, he was pretty nice. I mean, he was kind of saying things like, oh, don't worry about it. And the chairs were pretty nice, too. We might have been in, like, somewhat of a middle class area. Write this down. Well, anything else? I think my sister started laughing at one point, too. Just, I have no explanation for that. I also think there might have been something on the table, because there was a table there. But I couldn't really tell, because, you know, you shot my sister after that. Thank you for your time. We will catch this kidnapper. Okay, what? What does it say? You can't just stand there silently! Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot you were there. Well, thanks. Don't mention it, pal. Uh, so, anyways, the report confirms our suspicions from earlier for the most part. Uh, the rag was found on the ground, that you found on the ground did have traces of chloroform on it, so it was most likely how the kidnapper got the victims down there. Um, Ballistics report matched the shell casing to the bullet in the victim's head, which was pretty much expected. And they also found a type of gun, so we could possibly use this to identify the killer. Okay, good. So what else did we find out? 
Uh, the autopsy report says the bullet was the cause of death for the victim, and they also found a lot of bruises and scratches, so that means they were either beaten or they put up a fight. Um, rope burn around the wrists and ankles. They gave, uh, gave evidence that the victim was tied up tightly, and there was also a rope burn that was bad enough that the, uh, the report suggests possible struggling to release the bonds. Okay, anything else that we know? Anything there? Uh, just little things. Scratches on the face, duct tape was put tightly over their mouth. Um, oh, the blood on the wall matches that of the victim. Other than that, in the surviving victim's testimony, that's all we have, but honestly, that's plenty to work with. Sweet, we're gonna nail this case. Yeah, okay. I remember when I used to do stuff in this room with my sister. We would loom rainbows and a shot cord. It's almost as if she's here with me now. I can almost hear her coming down the stairs. Freeze! You're under arrest for the kidnapping of Serenia Marenia Roosevelt and the murder of Marenia. Wait, you have to understand, I didn't do it. Well, I mean, okay, I did, but you have to understand that it was all for my sister. It wasn't for some sort of malicious reason or anything. It's just that it's not, it's not fair that she's dead. You have to understand. When we were little, when we were little, our, our papa took us into the city. We were farm folk. You have to understand. And then he brought us into the city because we had to go to the bank for a loan because our farm was in danger. You no, know, you know, you gotta feel me here, man. So that. <laughs> So then we thought, oh, would it be a great idea to go play hide and seek in a dark alley? But you know, because we were young, we were young. She was so young, and I was so young, and our father was so old. <laughs> so, I'm just what had happened to her? And so we went into the dark alley, and we played hide and seek, and then this guy came up to us and put this light on my mother, and I just wonder, and I went all here among me. And my sister, she pushed me behind me and said, look, man, we don't have any money, but the guy didn't believe her. <laughs> Come with me to the slammer. 